Hey everyone, you are watching the Reddit Sarah channel where I bring you plus size fashion, travel, and lifestyle content both on here and on my blog, readytostare.com. It is my favorite time of year, which is the time when the weather gets warmer and it is time for fun in the sun. I love, love, love swimwear. I have so many, um, hauls and resources about plus size swimwear because I'm really passionate about just making sure that there are options for us fat babes who want to wear a bikini and who want to wear different styles rather than just, you know, the swim dresses and tankinis that were previously sold to us for years and years and years before Gabby Fresh started really changing the game. So today's haul is just a big old plus size swimwear haul with a whole bunch of brands and um, there's no common theme other than that these are things that I saw and I liked and that's what you're gonna get. So let's go ahead and dive in to today's big old plus wear swimsuit haul. So first up, I have this cheetah print two piece plus size bikini from Walmart's Time and True brand. Now I wanted to make some last minute additions to this video. So we ended up going to Walmart in person uh, they had a lot in plus sizes online, so we were like, let's just gamble and see what they have in person. I will say that like, they didn't necessarily have uh, their full size range in the store, and it was pretty picked over. So I am t typically, if I'm if I'm shopping and there's a full selection, I prefer to get a 20 on the top and a 22 on the bottom. This top is a extra large 16, 18. Now. Normally I would assume that this wouldn't fit, but somehow because of the way that it was cut, this actually fit pretty well and I like liked the way it held me in. I think because it was so tight, like I, it wasn't really moving. So it was comfortable to wear because it has this adjustable back. And then the front has a little bit of structure because this part right here is metal and it doesn't really move. So there's no underwire, but this metal part kind of keeps everything in place. The straps are pretty thin. So uh, again, I'm only like a, double D cup so for me I don't necessarily need a ton of strap support but if you are anything probably bigger than a double D I would say these straps might be a little too flimsy to provide support we were able to adjust these straps and I really I really liked this one I you know obviously I love cheetah print you don't have to you don't have to twist my arm too much to wear cheetah print so I thought this one was cute and we were able to find the bottoms in a 22 so these are the 22 bottoms and this is definitely like I would say a mid-rise cut it didn't come up super high waisted like I like but it was still cute and I liked these cutouts on the sides definitely one of the trends we're seeing in plus size swimwear this season is a lot of cutouts we're seeing that a ton so you will see cutouts in a few different styles that we're showing today so if you can see that there that's the cutouts and then my favorite feature <laughs> is this little booty ruching. And I love this because it reminded me a lot of the TikTok leggings, which have booty ruching. We're gonna like put a little clip of that here on the side so you can see what this actually really, like how it kind of looks similar with the booty ruching here. Um, so it kind of just like gives your cheeks a little bit more of a definition, we'll say. And then, um, yeah, this is kind of like a cheeky style. So I, if you want kind of a sexier bottom, this is definitely a really good option. I feel like this suit is modern and trendy and I really liked it so good job Walmart it was budget friendly next up we have this suit from Yandy I'm gonna put the picture of the model in this suit because that should have really told me what I needed to know about how this was gonna fit on my body uh, this person is acceptably uh, fat and, and curvy and this suit is not made for a fat body 100% it just doesn't even really make sense uh, I put it on and this top part just like immediately rolled down like there's no fupa space here or lower belly space at all. It's so high cut. The back is totally open. I mean, this strap, we I think it's just supposed to tie back here. We ended up basically creating a little spider web just so that this would stay up. So um, I got this from Yandy. It is a 2X, 3X. Can't imagine that's really... Uh, who it's who it would fit I would say this probably fits like a 16 maybe? I don't know like a 16 with like who literally is like all boobs and hips and nothing else like I don't know it's just not my favorite so Yandy if you don't know is a plus size or well, 
is a lingerie, like a budget friendly lingerie retailer and then they also have swim so I had never gotten anything swim from them so I was like let me try it I should have known that their swim was basically lingerie because I felt very exposed in this um so yeah I don't love it I got it because it was rainbow it, you will see it in a closet sale soon I I hate it the end <laughs> Next up, we are um, showing, I'm showing you a suit from my not so favorite retailer, Target. No, I'm, I, I have a new appreciation for Target and I had actually placed this order at the same time that LA was placing the order for um, my haul. So I loved the way that this suit looked on the model. So I was like, I'm going to give it a try. I think that this little knot detail and little uh, uh, keyhole here is just such a cute detail but they didn't have my size so I ended up getting an 18 W and then the bottoms I got in a 20 22 these bottoms are definitely low rise and uh, or mid to low rise and I actually wore this swimming already and it fell down the entire time I was swimming um, it just depends probably on where your um, belly sit but for me I have a B belly so I have two bellies and a, a mid rise or a low rise it just doesn't make it just doesn't work for my body because of the uh, it's just gonna roll down which is what this did so again this will be in a closet sale soon I only wore it once and um, I did not like it I didn't like the bottoms uh, this um, has some boning here on the sides which I appreciate, gives a little bit of structure, but boy was this tight. Uh, usually I can go down to an 18 if I have to, as you saw, the cheetah suit was an 18 and there's a significant fit difference in terms of feel. This was uncomfortable physically to wear. Um, and then this is the back. So yeah, this one, I would say, I would size up before I would size down. And, um, it's, and just be conscious, if you do want something high rise, this one is not it. So I said this year when I do swim, I am not, I am no longer buying styles just for y'all because I want to create a more diverse try on. But then I saw this long sleeve swimsuit and I was like, you know what? I do get questions about this. We are working on a blog post that we're going to link here about long sleeve swim, plus size long sleeve swimsuits. So I'm going to get this even though it's not my style. And turns out I kind of love this. If you are going snorkeling or you just need a rash guard or a long sleeve swimsuit, this is actually a really great option. This is from Walmart. It was in the active wear section. So it wasn't with the other swimsuits. And this is where we actually found the largest uh, range of sizes because we were able to find a 3x bottom which we didn't find anywhere in the more like fashiony swimsuits uh, so we were able to find a 3x bottom turns out the 3x bottom runs big because this was falling off of me whereas I could have benefited from a 3x bottom and pretty much any other style I tried from Walmart but this this uh, Aviva brand Aviva swim I would say runs big uh, so you could this would probably comfortably fit like a 24 if not a 26 depending on you know where your belly sits uh, and and the um, how you're laying <laughs> the I don't know how to describe that like it's the shape of your leg impacts how you are able to wear these kind of shorts so for me my legs go out like that um, if your legs go flat down these would be great for you um, but yeah, so I'm explaining this far more than I probably need to. They're shorts. They're little booty swim shorts, um, but they're athletic. Uh, they run big. Now the top, I love the top. I just felt like I didn't know how I was going to feel wearing like a long sleeve top with like, there's no structure in this. There's no built in bra. There's not, it's not even lined. And I was like, how am I going to feel? And honestly, I felt great. Like I felt comfortable. I didn't feel like unsupported. And I was like, you know what? Like where are the dolphins? Let's go swimming. I, I want to go snorkeling. I, I, the one time I went snorkeling, they, I got there and they didn't have a wetsuit in my size and I had to turn around and not do it. And it broke my heart. So if I would have been able to show up with my rash guard, maybe I would have been able to do it. So it's good to have these options so that you can have more um, so you can have more options for activities because you cannot rely on society to stock things for you. you sometimes you got to bring your own. So yeah, so this is cute and I got this in the 2X and it fit really well and I liked this a lot. So the shorts, wrong size, the rash guard, perfect. I don't buy a lot of one pieces. One, because they're not always my style and two, because I'm two different sizes on the top and the bottom. So truly a 2x top or a 20 top and a 22 bottom and a 3x bottom are really like my sweet spot so when i have to buy a one piece i basically have to buy a 3x 
a 3x one piece and then kind of hope that the top isn't too big so this is a 3x this is from Macy's I of course bought it because it was rainbow and it really worked and I was really pleasantly surprised um, I liked the way that like this you could tie this tighter it kind of gave you some definition plus there was these little ruffles it has this cutout in the front and then the back you can also tie tighter which I love that was able to give me a little bit more uh, just a little more support there in the back um, since the top was not necessarily my size and then these straps are thicker which again a lot the thicker the strap the more support and um, we love to see it so yeah so I love that if you want to wear uh, the look of a two-piece while still having a one-piece and having the back support of a one-piece Which is what this does have um, this is a great option. So I love this little cutout in the front This is definitely not high cut I'm gonna keep noting that because high cut and also cutouts are big trends this year and if you're not there with your body like that's fine. Those are trends that like you got to be there with your body because your fupa's out, your rolls are out, it's all out. So uh, this is a good one if you're like, hey, I want to show a little belly, I want some ruffles, I like the tie up, I want the support. This is, I feel like, a really good way to like, yeah, wear the look of a two piece with the feel of a, the feel and support of a one piece. Next up, we have another suit from Walmart, the Time and True brand. Now, this is a suit that there was. Uh, so I found these bottoms in, let me double check because they did not fit, uh, 1X 16W to 18W. These were so uncomfortable. I definitely needed a 2022. Honestly, I would have gotten a 24 and been happier. These were just, not, there's, there's stretch. I mean, every swimsuit is going to have some stretch, but this fabric is thick and it just, it, it felt pretty constricting. Now, I, I can't sit here and say it didn't it didn't fit and F, you know whatever but like I can't say that because this is not really the size I needed <laughs> they didn't have the size I needed and I was buying in person so um, so yeah these are the bottoms I think this suit is super cute I love these buttons but yeah I would definitely have to exchange this for a different size this suit came with a really nice green molded cup uh, bikini top um, but they did not have any plus sizes in that top so we went ahead and I say we because me and LA behind, who's behind the camera we shopped together for everything um, we went ahead and we got this top which is a tankini top and I mean I don't want to say that you know I wasn't surprised but I absolutely wasn't surprised that we found the tankini top in plus and not the cute molded cup bra top in plus sizes so this one was in plus sizes this fit fine this was a also a 1x um, but yeah because of the way that this one was cut I felt like this was a, a lot I didn't feel so much like again this was one size off whereas this was two sizes off so this felt fine I could wear this if I wanted but I'm not a big personally I'm not a big tankini girl so there's nothing wrong with this top I think it's a cute option if you like tankinis um, it just wasn't it's not my style but it does have um, the, the nice um, big clasp here on the back the nice thick adjustable straps and then there is um, some pat like a little built-in padding here on the front and it's not super long so like depending on how long your torso is this could almost be like a tankini that shows a little belly because these are low rise mid rise so yeah just depends on how tall you are I'm only 5'1 so definitely there was a little belly showing but that's because these were falling down and rolling off because they're too small so do with that information what you will. I'm just here to present the facts. <sighs> Again, I was blinded by the rainbows, y'all. This one, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, it's almost rainbow. It's not exactly rainbow, but I was like, I gotta get it because it's got a, pl a plethora of colors and that is my MO. So I ignored the warning signs, which is girl where are those boobs going inside of this top I know better I've actually even ordered a top before we can all uh, put a picture in here from this is from Reb Dolls I've literally gotten a triangle top bathing suit from Reb Dolls I know that it doesn't really work and feel super comfortable for me and yet I did it anyway because it was close to rainbow like I mean I'm a sucker if you all want to get me to buy something just make it rainbow and I'll be there even if I don't really want that style so here I am with my triangle top um, I will say 
that I don't like triangle tops, but I this is probably the best one I've ever tried. So if you want triangle tops and you're into that, this I like this one. These straps are super long. Um, my friend Shantae from Curvy and Cleveland, she wore the same top and she actually ended up tying these straps around her stomach, kind of created like a little added detail. I hadn't thought of that. So that was a really cute idea. So if you're into triangle tops, this is a good one. I think it's well made. There, I mean, like there's enough fabric here, which is one of the things that we don't always, okay, for me, again, if you are, this is a 2X and I'm not saying all 2Xs are double Ds. You could be a 2X and definitely need more coverage than this, but this worked for me, which is not always the case. What I really loved was the bottoms. These were high waisted. We love to see it. They were high waisted. I felt like pretty full coverage here. And I really liked this really thick uh, elastic at the top. So I will be wearing this probably with one of my existing tops, uh, but I'm glad I got this suit. Um, Reb Dolls is uh, owned by a woman of color. It's good to you know support different brands and not just go through to major retailers, which is what I have um, at a lot of these from a lot of these other suits. So so yeah, so this is from Reb Dolls and um, love it. Love the color, love the pattern. I'm not a triangle top girl, but if you are, this is a good one. This is the last suit from good old Walmart. It's another Time and True brand, and you know. I applaud them for giving us some trends in plus sizes. This is totally cut out on the side, which I, I like it in theory. Again, unfortunately, this is not my size. This is a 1X, uh, which is the 1618, and it was very difficult to get on. Um, and one thing about me is I don't want a swimsuit to be hard to get on, which is the reason why I love a bikini but this is cool it's cute it's aesthetic it has like the two different fabrics so this is like kind of a ribbed fabric with the solid fabric here um yeah it looks really cool on the body it definitely like gives some illusions I felt like it gave me like a nice little shape but it was just really uncomfortable and hard to get out in and out of it does have boning here on the side which provides some support and there is soft cups on the inside I would definitely just exchange this to like the size that I really need which is a 3x or a 2x so um, nothing wrong with this but it's just not my size I just wanted to give y'all all of the options so I bought <laughs> stuff that wasn't my size just so I could show you more so um, a lot of stuff already we're seeing sold out in swim which is really um, I guess it's a good thing, but like, where are our options, y'all? So, yeah, so this is cute. If you want cutouts, we're seeing that as a big trend this season, and this is a good option. We are back to another Blinded by the Rainbow swimsuit from Yandy. Uh, once again, this was a 2X, 3X. Uh, definitely uh, made for a more acceptably fat, curvy body because it's extremely high cut. Fupa lower belly is out there. But the thing that I liked about this one compared to the other rainbow suit from Yandy was that it did have this tie up here in the back and this actually held me in. So I would wear this one. I like it. I might wear it. I might be more apt to wear it as a bodysuit with some you know, something just covering this, uh, this area over here. Cause there was a lot going on over there and I just don't know if I want all my business out there like that. So the back is totally open, which I think is really, um, cute because you do have this support up here. Both of them had open backs, lower open backs, but this has the support up at the top, which is what I needed. So, I mean, you can tell how it's cut. It's definitely cut, you know, for that, uh, there's not a lot of fabric here, but it's cut for curves. Uh, it's just, I wouldn't say it's necessarily cut for fat. <laughs> so it's cute. Uh, definitely the better of the two, but yeah, this is a 2X, 3X and as a 2X, 3X, it's not really, it's not really, it didn't really fit perfectly, but maybe it fit how they wanted it to. I don't know. It's cool. Uh, I'm going to make it work probably more as a bodysuit, but, uh, yeah, I'm glad we're making, we're getting cool, bright rainbow stuff in, in plus sizes and more variety of options. So yeah, this is cool. The last suit I'm going to show you is currently drying. Um, so I don't have it here with me, but I have it here and that's all that matters. It is a zebra print suit from Macy's. It's the Raisins brand, which I have worked with Macy's in the past and they've gifted me some from that brand. So I knew my sizing really well in that one. And I was able to buy it when they still had full stock of everything available. So um, I was able to get the sizes that I needed in it. And that one I would say is the most comfortable and the best fit of all of these suits. Uh, 
I really am seeing another trend that we're seeing a lot in plus size swimwear right now is a lot of the square necklines. Um, so I'm not sure how those tan lines are gonna work, but it's a it's a really cute um, kind of like silhouette and framing of your shoulders. So I really liked and bust. So I like the the square neckline of the zebra, the kind of thicker straps. Um, it had uh, a little bit of a thin lining and uh, thin molded cups in it, and then there's some ruching in the front and then also on the bottom. So I just think that that suit is well made is definitely one of the more um, expensive ones um, still under a hundred dollars but definitely not the price point of the Walmart suits so you can tell the difference in quality and also like size availability uh, so yeah I absolutely love the Macy suit who would think that the non rainbow zebra print one would be my favorite and not cheetah and not rainbow but it was cute so yeah I like it I think that a lot of retailers who make plus size swimsuits are still stuck in this idea that if you are a plus size woman that you want to hide your body and that means that you want uh, a lot of ruching and a lot of ruffles and you want a skirt and you want shorts and you want long sleeves and at the end of the day what we really want is a large range of styles because just like our straight size counterparts who are able to find pretty much anything that they want in their size we want the same thing we don't want to be designed for the bodies that you assume we hate. We want to be designed for and catered to as unique and individuals who have a full range of styles. So if you like skirts, that's great. You should be able to find it. If you want a super high cut booty cheeks out triangle top bikini and plus sizes, you should be able to find that too. There should be a full size and style spectrum and you shouldn't design for us based on thinking that we hate our bodies and want to cover them. So. Uh, that's what I tried to show you today. I tried to bring you a range of styles here that were somewhat aligned with my own personal style because I think it's really important that as plus size women that we have options. You know, what we wear on our bodies as larger body people is is personal and political at the same time. You know, when we are probably most apt to get stared at, made fun of, uh, gawked at whatever when we're in a swimsuit right that's probably the most revealing thing that we would be wearing in public so there is something to be said about wanting to feel your best and most comfortable and to feel like you are wearing something that aligns best with your truest style so that's what we want to see we want to see more options and it's gotten a lot better certainly um, since it has in the past but we, we want more we want more so uh, so don't just give us those styles in don't just give us the exact same styles from straight sizes to plus size you do have to realize that like if you are making a larger suit it does need to fit a larger a larger body and has to be cut differently perhaps so yeah um, that is all I have for you today I feel like this is kind of a downer and uh, uh, that's that's not what I wanted by any means I definitely like I'm walking away with some suits I love and I'm also walking away frustrated that there's not more options for us in stores and that a lot of the options um, that I found online just didn't feel like they had a lot of stock left so that's frustrating because it's April so yeah if you have a favorite place to shop for swim definitely let me know below I have a big old resource on my website uh, listing 25 plus places that you can shop for plus size swimwear so we will link that below as well that should give you some good options I checked everywhere on there um, and yeah I was able to find some that I liked and um, some that weren't available in my size so and some places hadn't even really released their swim yet so just depends and um, we'll be back with more swim don't worry this is just the beginning of swim plus size swim 2021 but we will see you next time and I yeah I'll talk to you later bye